Hello everyone, it's Aster bringing you another Remint unboxing video. So far I've uh, only re... I've only opened the um, Sailor Moon Crystal Cafe Sweets Remint um, and I thought I would pick something that was Kirby and this is one of three Kirby items. I picked this one in particular because it has um, a lot of little tiny furniture and it even has a table so I was thinking that would make it easier for you to see <clears throat> the things that are displayed maybe. So let me show you the box. I've cut the seal so it's a little bit easier for me to open. And this one has something that you uh, cut out so you can um, make a little shelf, but I don't plan on doing that because that would uh, harm the box. And the top. So there are eight pieces, or well, eight boxes in here. And in the inner flaps, there's also stuff that you can cut out to make. I think that's supposed to be like a, oh, it's supposed to be the wall paper. And then this is supposed to be the flooring. That's cute. If I didn't mind destroying a box, <laughs> I'd take those out, but yeah. I don't want to much do that, so. I'm gonna have to try and figure out if I can uh, Scan those somehow or make paper copies. Just put it back here. Alright. So like um the Sailor Moon one, I will be opening them from the bottom so that they can still be used for display purposes and they won't be damaged. That's the top. So if I remember correctly, this is one of the more expensive um, Kirby remint uh, series that you can get right now, at least in the American um, Amazon Japan. Oh, I got all of these except the Sailor Moon one off of uh, Amazon Japan for a lot less than they're going for on the normal American Japan, or the usual. Uh, Amazon Japan. Not there's an, that there's anything unnormal or unusual about the uh, Amazon Japan. Um. So yeah, these are a lot less on Amazon Japan. The ones on the American one are just so much more expensive. I think this is like over a hundred dollars on the American Amazon. That's ridiculous. So here's the little pamphlet. Middle. And then some cutout stuff that you can use. Uh, so this is number seven. It's uh, the refrigerator. Unfortunately, we did not get the um, table, so I can't display this on a little 
nice set piece for you guys. So I'm just going to have to make do and put it on top of these things. Okay, so I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe like a bean bag? I don't know what furniture piece that's supposed to be. It's in the refrigerator um, box. So I was like, what does this have to do with a refrigerator? I'm not quite sure. It just must be another piece to the whole set. And we have Kirby refrigerator, which can open. Um, the freezer part can't open. And then we have little items. A Kirby pudding with two strawberries and a plate. And this is really adorable. Um, more Kirby puddings, but this time it's in the package. These are so little, or it's hard to make my camera focus. There we go. And that's the side. Cute. Very cute. Okay. That's one. Hopefully we get the table, <laughs> so I can put some of these on display. Step on top of the boxes. Doesn't look like it. It looks like it's the tea set. Yeah, it's the tea set. Okay. The inside's going to be the same, so I'll stop showing the inside. There's the back. So this is number... First one was number seven. This was in, is number six. This one has a lot of small items. I mean, Rement usually has small items, but this one is nothing but small items, so that should be fun. Tiny, 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 tiny items. <laughs> Making sure I got every tiny item out. <laughs> okay, so we have a plate. I think that's, um... The knight, I can't remember his name. And we got a golden pot. It's like some sort of cream soup that goes into the golden pot. Trying to put every little thing on there. This little teapot. Cup of like coffee or something, or dark tea.
uh, bread bowl and I have no idea sides and then there's a pink spoon and then the pot with the cream soup with a adorable little ladle Okay, next one. This one's a very lightweight one. The other two were... Well, the first one was decently heavy. The other one was a little heavy. This one is pretty lightweight. I think the first one was heavy because that uh, bean bade chair or whatever is solid plastic. Okay, looks like we got a mirror. So this is number one. It is the mirror set with a lamp and some extras. So I've been a fan of Kirby since I was a kid, um, since the I played the original game on uh, the Nintendo, the original Nintendo. Really always liked Kirby stuff, so I was happy to find something that um, had a bunch of Kirby items, which... <laughs> It's hard to find uh, toys that are Kirby themed because I don't think Kirby's very popular or sells well over here or something because it seems like everything that's Kirby is over in Japan and there's not really a lot of love over here in America for it. So this is a UFO light. Here's the mirror. Cute little potted plant. The plant does come out. And then two slippers. Oh, and they're different um, motions of Kirby. There's a worried one and then there's a smiling one. That's really cute. My stupid phone won't show it. Okay, come on. There we go. It's adorable. The little lamp is much smaller than the um, the mirror. So I guess it's uh, not a floor lamp, it's a table lamp. Okay, next one. Oh, I think we finally hit the table. <laughs> On our fourth try. Um, so this is number three, uh, the table set. In the back. And all the things on the back are stuff that you can cut out and just add to the room. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why there's not a lot of Kirby stuff in America, and I'm always disappointed when there's 
nothing related to Kirby to find. Here's the table. Mm. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see it better. A little uh, chopping board. And then tiny little rolls that have Kirby's face on them. And then there's a single roll that's been separated from the rest of the rolls. And the stupid camera is not going to cooperate again. And it's all of Kirby's faces and emotions. And that's adorable. And then a little carton of Kirby milk. I don't want to know what's in it. Or how they did Kirby milk. Then a tissue box. And then a glass with some Kirby milk in it. Drop that. And the um, milk is removable from this. So that's that set. Adorable. Let me get you a better glimpse of everything. Next. I was hoping that um, the table would make it easier for you guys to see things, but with the way my camera's positioned, it's not really looking like that, so. I don't know. Uh, so this is number eight, and this is the bed. There's the bat. Looks like this is like a rug or something that you cut out. Well, not Kirby related, I've noticed that um, some other characters from Nintendo have kind of gotten the um, forgotten by Nintendo, or they, they're they just like side characters. I mean, they are normally side characters. Here's the really adorable bed. Um, but... Here's the... I don't know what this is supposed to be. Oh, it's a hat rack. Okay. So you put its little hat on it. And then it holds... Holds your sleeping cap for you. Like so. And this is a pillow. And here's Sleeping Kirby. So this one's an actual figurine. Can my stupid camera cooperate? No, it cannot. Yeah, it just can't. Okay. <clears throat> so I think that's the only figurine that we get 
of Kirby in this one. Even though everything's Kirby themed. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, as I was saying, the other characters that seem to be from, uh, not as popular are uh, Zelda from Legend of Zelda, although she's more popular than, I think, Kirby or Princess Peach. Because Kirby and Princess Peach, those two, there's like almost nothing of them. Um, Princess Peach sometimes gets a figurine from the world of Nintendo toys, but barely um, and rarely. But as for Kirby, he doesn't really get much. Uh, he did get some amiibos, and uh, there's actually some other Kirby characters that got some amiibos, but uh, you know, little toys or figurines, I can't really think of many. Which is a really big shame because I really love Kirby stuff. But now that I'm buying things off of Amazon Japan and they can be shipped here, I suspect that it's going to be a lot easier for me to find Kirby things. Oh, this is interesting. So the um, little pamphlet got stuck underneath the uh, top and it got bent, the top part of the box. So it was just sucked in there and stuck this whole time. So this is number two uh, shelf. And then these are little pictures that you can cut out for the picture frame. As you can see there, it'll you can slip a uh, them into the picture frame. Although I suppose you can make any picture you want and put it in the picture frame. As you can see, there's the slot. Uh, here's a little bird cage with the bird on top. And here is a golden lucky cat. Two more. I'm not sure if Princess Peach is more popular over in Japan or not. She's definitely a side character. <laughs> I also don't know if uh, Le uh, Legend, um, if Zelda is popular over there or not. Yeah, it's weird. Zelda is the name of the game, but you know, she's not important. <laughs> it's really annoying. It's also really annoying that they don't make, they don't give their female, well, uh, Zelda or Princess Peach really uh, their own games without the men. Um, they tried it with Princess Peach, but it was such a failure because they made her um, emotional. <laughs> like, stereotypically emotional. This one is number four television. I mean, her weapons were literally her emotions. And she just happens to be a woman, so that was kind of sexist and stereotypical of Nintendo. And it didn't really go over well. So now I fear that she'll never get another game that's all about her. 
and I don't know if Zelda's gotten her own game. I mean, I know all of the games are called Legend of Zelda, but do you ever play as just her and not Link? So this is a floor cushion for the table. Oh, no. Can't really. Oh, now you focus on my hand. Yeah, there you go. And then this is a little tray. And there's a bunch of little super tiny, tiny cookies for putting on the tray. Um, there is detail on them, but they're so tiny I'm not going to even bother because my my phone will never pick them up in a million years. And then this is the TV, which you um, cut out these and you put it in the middle of this. And then you put the little screen on. So it looks like a TV's playing. Oh boy, running out of space. Last box. So offhand, I don't know of any games that are just about Zelda and where you play just as Zelda. So if anybody knows of any, uh, let me know. Okay, last up we have number five, uh, Canvas. Looks like uh, you make a little booklet here. Oh, it's supposed to be Kirby's Diary. That's cute. Lots of little tiny things. The only bad thing about Remint is it creates a lot of plastic uh, packaging garbage. Okay. So we have the little easel and picture. Cute. Oops. And then a paint can with some pink paint. And the paint can actually has its little handle that you can move around. Uh, Here's a little headset so you can listen to, I don't know, Kirby singing. <laughs> and then a little tin can. And the tin can has lots of little crayons and See a wand. And then this is the paintbrush. And that is it for this uh, Kirby 
Remint set. So it is officially called Kirby's Happy Room. Uh, if you're interested in this, definitely check out Amazon Japan. I'm not sponsored, um, but it is much cheaper to get it off of Amazon Japan than um, here in America. So what you also want to do is get Amazon Prime uh, right now, well, I think they're doing it all the time, but it's th uh, 30 days and it's a free trial. So within those 30 days, you can buy a lot of stuff and you don't have to pay for shipping, which shipping is a nightmare. Now, not every seller s sends stuff to America, but most do. And um, after the 30 days are up, it's only $5 a month for Amazon Prime in Japan. And you get all of the things that Amazon Prime normally has, like the free um, videos and stuff, too. So there are, like, anime TV shows on Amazon Japan, and there's movies there, too. So if you're a fan of... Japanese TV shows or movies, there might be some free stuff over there that you could check out. Although, it's probably not going to have English subtitles, just telling you now. So, that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.